This tutorial is designed to help a new user understand how to best use the various methods and features when searching a local database. The most obvious search involves adding a keyword to the main search area and hitting return which then executes that search. And this is great if your keyword is an actual term in a database that has metadata, because if it doesn't, it may not be the best method. So to better understand, let's examine what the main search area does and when using a different method is a better choice. The main search area is based on a Boolean paradigm. That's just fancy for being able to use AND, OR, and NOT modifiers. It doesn't search every character in every field as that would be inefficient and slow. Instead, it asks the user to define which fields are the key ones and then builds what's called a full index of the unique terms inside those fields. If the user has not specified any, then the default set is selected based on the profile of the database. You can see them if you go to the Database Modify Search Indexes field. You can see these fields have been selected for the database, and every database can have its own full index. With a full index set, we can go back to searching. You can type any term that is two characters or more in length, and pressing return will yield results. As noted, metadata must exist, and we'll get to what happens when you don't have metadata, but for now let's look at the power of metadata-based searching. Boolean allows you to use AND, OR, and NOT modifiers to create extended search queries. SoundMiner even allows you to do complex queries with nested subqueries. For example, you could search this. Rock, heavy metal, thrash hard, but no pop, and no electric or electronic. The space acts as an AND, comma operates as an OR, and a minus sign means NOT and the brackets set up the subquery, so in effect, it's telling the engine to look for rock and it must have at least one of the terms in the subquery, which is heavy or metal or thrash or hard. And the second subquery tells it to omit any pop or stems of E-L-E-C-T-R. Star character stems out the word, so anything like electro, electric, electronic will be omitted. As you can see, it's pretty powerful when you have the metadata to work with. Another way to approach it is to start off general with just the word rock. Engage the lock button here so that you lock off all the returns and you're only searching within a group of records. And then keep adding terms until you get down to where you want to be. If you've gone too deep, you can step back with this back button. Unlock the icon and now you're searching the entire database. The right pane also has a live summary view as well, so you could do a general search, engage the summary right pane option, and select the field to view unique entries that match your returns. As you search, it will build a list of unique summaries in the field selected. For example, I can see all my categories in one view and get to them with a simple click. Now this is all great when you have metadata, but what happens when you don't have metadata? Well, there are a couple of different methods designed for that. If you want to search something that isn't a term like a file name, then use Command-Shift-F to exit normal Boolean logic and bring up the alternative advanced search. Here you can select the exact field you wish to search, or you can use the search index. Either way, you're searching characters contained instead of terms. In addition, you can use the right detail pane to engage a search. First, put yourself in search mode by selecting the magnifying glass at the top right. You can click and drag the column fields in the order you prefer. And when you click on a field, a search window pops up and allows you to add characters to match in that field. If you put that window in live link mode using this icon at the top, then clicking on the content brings back exact matches. Clicking here will bring me back all items with this release date, or this category, and so forth. Finding exact and similar matches can also be accessed from the contextual menu. As you peruse your search returns in their fields, if you find a field on which you want to base a search, control click on that field cell and select Find Same or Find Similar. In this case, I'm using it to find similar category matches. 
Sometimes you simply want to browse. If the Folder Browser tool is enabled in your toolbar, it'll display your paths down to your folders. So if you knew where the sound was, you could find it pretty quickly. A more advanced browsing option is the V45 Pro Meta Browser. This is usually a default tool in your toolbar, and it can be toggled on and off from the Windows menu as well. If no browse summary has been built, it may take a moment, depending on the size of your database, to build all the summaries. The window can be sized as you move your mouse over the border between the window and the returns. Click the Summary option and the field summaries will populate. I could select all of these, hit Return, and would bring back all that content. This is a very handy approach in certain cases. I can also save any of my searches by making a playlist associated with that database. Let's say I wanted to keep these results in a playlist for easy recall. I would call up my playlist window in the right pane, give the list a name, and drag in the items. That's it. Now if I wanted to recall that list at any point, a single click on the playlist will return it. The playlists are tied to the databases, however. You can add by dragging things in and delete using the delete key. This does not delete it from the database, just from the playlist view. This also applies anytime you're viewing returns. You can use the delete key to temporarily hide things from view. To get them back, simply reselect the database to reset it. Do note, however, that to actually permanently delete something, you must use the database menu items or the contextual menu options. And finally, let's look at keyword breakouts in V4.5 Pro. Let's say all you have is a file name like traffic New York heavy daytime dot wave and nothing else. If you type in heavy traffic New York, you probably won't find this because there's no metadata. But V45 does something when scanning here that may help. When there's no keyword metadata, it looks for title case in the file name and tries to break it all apart into terms that the engine can then use. This helps you better use your files even when there's little or no metadata, but there's so much you can do to enrich your metadata, so have a look at our metadata videos to learn more.